What is going on guys welcome back to another video of notes application development series using firebase in last video we designed the beautiful create account screen that has email id password and confirm password in this video first we are going to connect our application to the firebase and then we will create the functionality for create account so let's get started so let's connect the firebase first so go to tools over here you can see the firebase tools click on it it will open an assistant right over here and from here we can select any of the features we have to select the authentication since we are doing the authentication we have to select authenticate using a custom authentication system click on it here we have all the steps first step is connect your app to the firebase so i will click on it so once you click it will open in the web browser and you have to log in with your gmail id so after logging in click on add project project name will be automatically detected you can change also i'll click on continue analytics you can enable or disable you can select a account that will be default account and click on create project it will take some time to create the project so as you can see our project is ready click on continue So it will display the Firebase Android app is created. You can click on connect to connect. So yes, our Android Studio project is connected to Firebase Android app. So you can minimize this and you can see over here it is connected. So now our app is connected to the Firebase. You have to add the features like what Firebase features you want. For now we want Firebase authentication. So click on add Firebase authentication SDK to your app. Accept the changes. It will add all the dependency that are needed. Accept changes. So our Gradle sync is finished. We are connected to the Firebase and also we have added Firebase authentication SDK. So you can close this now. Now we have connected to the Firebase. Now we can add the functionality for create account. So let's create the reference for all those edit text and create button. Let's add those. So edit text. We have three edit text that will be email edit text password edit text and confirm password edit text i am giving full name you can give small name also i prefer the readable names we have a button that is create account button also we have a progress bar progress bar and one text view we have that is our login button text view so these all thing we needed over here now let's link those in on create method to that id so for linking email edit text equals to find view by id r dot id dot what we have given email edit text in the same way for all the fields you have to do password edit text confirm password edit text and for the buttons also progress bar and lastly login button text view now we have linked all those with the xml we can set the on click listener and validate the data so let's set on click listener for create account button first so create account button dot set on click listener you can write like new on click listener also but i will prefer lambda so i will write just a v and give the function that we are creating so i'll create a method here that will be void create account method so here we will do all the logics for create account so i'll call this method from here create account and for login button text view also we have to set the on click listener so we don't have login page right now so just i will finish this activity that's it it will close the activity when we click on login button text view that's it so now we will write the logic over here in create account so when the create account button is clicked we have to take the email password and confirm password and then we have to validate it so let's add them in the string format so email equals to from email edit text dot get text dot to string in the same way password password edit text confirm password confirm password edit text now we have to validate all those data so let's create a method for validating the data over here after create account i will create one more method which will return just true and false so i will set boolean as return type and i will give the name validate data i will take all those values so i will take string email string password string confirm password so in this method we will validate the data 
I can write a comment that are input by user. So you can add any validation like for email we can add that it is correct email or not. So let's validate email first. So for that I will use patterns class patterns dot email address dot matcher method we have if this matcher will match with this email so matcher email dot matches so it will come inside when it matches the email id is correct it will come inside so we don't want that we want if it doesn't matches if it doesn't matches the pattern we will set the error that to email edit text dot set error email is invalid so it will show some error message if the email is invalid now we don't want to test anything after this we can directly return once email is invalidated we can't do anything so we can return false means the validated data will return false again we have to test for if email is valid it will come here so we'll test if password dot length we will test password dot length is less than six so we want password greater than six so i will set less than six so if it is less than six we will set the error to password edit text dot set error password length is invalid you can write any of the message again it will return the false so if email id matches password is greater than six then we have to test password and confirm password are same or not so if password dot equals confirm password if it if it doesn't equals means we have to add this then we have to set the error message to confirm password edit text set error password not matched and return false now if email also matches password is greater than six password also matches password also matches we can return true that means everything is correct validated data is returning true now we have to call this method from create account button we will set this to a is validated equals to call this method validate data will pass email will pass password will pass confirm password if this value is true we will go ahead if this is false we will return from here so now let's run the app and test it is validating or not so our create account is ready I will give some wrong email ID like test and I will click on create account. So yes, it is showing email is invalid. Since it is not a valid email, it is showing the error. I will give the correct email ID. Now if I click on create account, it is saying password length is invalid. So I will give the password length as six and confirm password I will and confirm password I will give different. Now let's see. So password not matched. If I give the correct password. So now no error is there that means this is validated is true. So here what we can do is if is validated is false if is validated is false we can directly return from here. No need to go ahead if it is true then we will create the account using firebase authentication. So let's create a method for that create account in firebase we will pass email and password no need to pass confirm password since it is same only. So after that let's create a method void create account in firebase that will take email and a password so now this will call this method so as soon as we click on create account button it will take some time to create the account so we have to show the progress bar for that also i will create one more method void change in progress so it will take a boolean value in progress so in this method what we will do is if it is if in progress is true then we will set the visibility for progress bar so progress bar dot set visibility visible and the button should be invisible so create account button dot set visibility will set it to gone in the same way if it is in not in progress means progress is done we will do the reverse progress bar will be gone create account button will be visible so at first while creating the account in firebase we will set change in progress to true so in progress is started now we can create account in firebase so to create account in firebase we have firebase auth class we have already added the dependency so we can access that class that will be firebase auth we'll give the name firebase auth and we'll take the instance of firebase auth like this so we have this firebase auth there are different method inside it to create account and login so i will use firebase auth dot create user with email and password this is provided by firebase click on it so it asks for email and password we already have email and password so email and password so it will create the account but when it will create the account when it is returned successfully or failure how we will get to know so we have to add a listener for that so for that i will add a listener that will be add on complete listener 
so here we have add on complete listener click on it and we have to pass a context for this that will be create account activity dot this and i will give new on complete listener so if you click on this and you can put semicolon over here means once it is completed we have this callback method on complete either it can be successful or it can be failure that we will test over here as you can see we have task over here we can check with this task if task is successful means create account is done creating account is done so what we will do else if it is failure failure what we will do so first if create account is done we will show a message that will be toast message toast dot make text context that will be create account activity dot this message will be successfully created account since we will send the verification link to the user so i will say check email to verify give the length length dot short dot show so what it will do is it will just show the toast that account is successfully created check email to verify now once account is created this firebase auth will return us a user so this firebase auth will return us a user so let's get that current user firebase auth dot get current user the whatever the user is registered in firebase it will return that user but we don't want them to log in right now so that we will sign out it before that we will send a verification email so dot send verification email so this method will send verification email to the current user that is just now created spelling is wrong now after sending the verification email we will log out the user so that once it is verified then only we will log in so sign out now the email will be sent and user will be signed out after that we can close this activity so i will finish it now in failure what we have to do in failure we can show the toast also i'll copy this and paste it over here here we can write instead of this message whatever the exception is received that i will print so task dot get exception dot get localized message so it will show the error message that we have got why the account is not created that's it so our create account activity is done we can successfully create the account the email will be sent as a verification and we will be signed out so that we can again log in with that email id so to make this authentication work we have to go to firebase and enable the authentication so let's log in in the firebase we have already created the project go to firebase get started select your project that you have created that is notes pro from here we have to enable the authentication so for authentication go to authentication tab over here click on get started so we have to select the sign in method we are using email password so click on this email password and click on enable over here and you can click on save now all email password is enabled over here so now let's test everything so run the application a validation we have tested already so i will directly input the correct email id password i will give test123 Now let's click on create account it should show successful or the failure message let's create it as you can see the successful message came and went and the application is closed because we have written finish over here we have signed out and finish the activity so let's check on firebase either our user is registered or not go to users over here so you can see just now i have registered the user now this user cannot be registered again we can test that also i will give the same values if i try to register again with the same email id let's click on create account so that email id is already in used by another account so as you can see after the process is completed still progress bar is there since we have not added the change progress bar method over here after completion so after completion change progress bar that will be false so that it will show the create account button again now let's check the email that i have got email or not for the link so i'll go to gmail since we are testing the firebase sometime email doesn't comes in inbox you should test in spam also my email is on spam just now i have received the verify your email so i have this link to verify the email address as soon i will click on this it will verify the email then we can log in with this email id i'll click on this so your email has been verified you can now sign in with her account so that's it for this video we have designed the create account page we have connected to the firebase and we have successfully created an account 
in next video we will create the login screen and we will log in with the email id and password that we have created just now so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you see you in the next video bye bye